This is a strip of metal dissolving in some acid. Hey, let's collect some data while running this experiment, and then I'll give you a chemistry challenge to solve. First, let's find the mass of the strip of magnesium we're going to use. We can see that it has a mass of 0.68 grams. I'm going to react the magnesium metal with some acetic acid found in vinegar. That's 28.85 grams of vinegar. All right, it's time to run the reaction. I'll just drop the magnesium into the vinegar. The magnesium immediately begins reacting with the acetic acid in the vinegar. The products of the reaction are dissolved magnesium acetate and hydrogen gas. You can clearly see hydrogen gas bubbles being formed. The reaction continued for about 15 minutes, and when it was finally completed, there was some magnesium left over. So this means magnesium is the reagent in excess, while the acetic acid in vinegar was the limiting reagent. As you can see, 0.39 grams of magnesium were left over. Okay, so here's a challenge for you. Based on the mass of magnesium that reacted, the chemical equation that describes the reaction between magnesium and acetic acid, and the mass of vinegar used, calculate two things. The mass of acetic acid that must have reacted, and the percent by mass of acetic acid in the vinegar. Hey, did you get the right answers? Let me know in the comments if you did. And thanks for watching, everybody.